right now there was I'm, I'm, i put them in order i've, I've picked okay. a load of small ones we'll start with the smaller ones uh first one's called the background this is just called the background of fellatio the background. Now, this, one's re- this one's really short and i, I probably, probably won't bother with this one it's, and it's also it's like one half paragraph in really small font over like six pages oh there's like really and the, it's really bizarre, bizarre area. like this is the start of this one according to current press reports Americans are having foreplay at amazingly more youthful ages. <laughs> with what? Increased, with increasing nonchalanceness. I'm sorry, increasing nonchalance. nonchalance. I, feel, I like the idea that this person like thinks that foreplay is uh, uh, also current press reports. What fucking newspaper was that? <laughs> That's a, talk about a, talk about a slow news day. Breaking Did you news. Know that, did you know men and women are fiddling with each other and, and they're not even thinking about it. Sometimes they're just there. They don't even care. Doing a, they're doing a crossword with one <laughs> and Goku, finger and finger in each other. She's like, you know, <coughs> nonchalance. As if you're just on the bus going, you know, it's like that. Um, sorry. It reminds Whatever. me of this. Uh, it reminds me of the Andrew Dice Clay opening joke he used to do. He used to come out and he go, and he'd just stand there for a few minutes and he go, so I got my tongue up this chick's ass. <laughs> and it, and it, I got, I got my, t- and I'm down there, and I've really got it right in, and I'm, I've been down there for like three minutes, two, three minutes, and she starts asking questions like, "Hey, who are you?" <laughs> and I'm like, "Baby, I don't know. We're at the post office. We're in the line. I was bored." You know, and it's just like that's what it's he's just nonchalant, you know? Yeah, <laughs> you know, he just, just casual. Yeah, anyway, so. No, he's, he's put note. Oral sex here refers solely to fellatio. Right? <laughs> okay. Um. Fine. As I guess. I guess. <laughs> why, why does he have to put? Oh, here's an idea, mate. Why don't you just write fellatio? It's True. About the same we have a word there. for that. Yeah. Oral sex precedes and typically replaces sexual intercourse since it's perceived to be non-committal. <laughs> what the? It f- replaces you know, is it. it? <laughs> well, I mean, it might. You know, so that's you replace, you. I don't think I don't think it replaces it. I just think sometimes the like the woman starts with that and the man just goes, "Oh no, that's it." <laughs> I guess we're done now. That's replaced. It's not. It. It's not a mutually, it's not a mutually agreed thing. Like uh, it's not a mutually agreed thing. Like oh well, she's not going to be there going. Well, that was much better than having four yeah. tricks. Getting your cum in, all, in my eyes all night. Yeah, it's wonderful. Now, you go to sleep. Yes, yeah, so, but he says, pre- <laughs> he proceeds, oral sex proceeds. I'm like, well, it doesn't have to. It can happen in between. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, I, I, I reckon the reason this guy, this guy has never, ever put his face anywhere near a woman's vagina. Because yeah. he, he must have known, because that's why he wants oral sex. And he just it only oral, means one thing. There's only just one used fellatio. If he just used fellatio, then it would have seemed too obvious. Right? <laughs> it's like, you know, we'll, we'll t- teach us about, you know, we'll tell us about, uh, you know, uh, cunnilingus. It's like, what? I think oh, this guy is uh, great of vaginas. I- I'm calling he it now. Think, he probably thinks cunnilingus is an airline. <laughs> something. Um, cunnilingus, that's a beautiful name. I, I you know, I told one, I, you know, I once, you know, publicly stated that I like analingus. And look, it was a tongue-in-cheek comment. <laughs> Boom! Ayo. Oh, hold on. Let me just do that again. And... There you go. And, uh, that was a rim job, rim shot. That, 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 it, there you, oh, fucking <laughs> hell. Two in a shot. Bang. No. Oh, <laughs> fucking hell. This is like, I can't believe we're not, you know, we, we, I can't believe people are not they're getting this for free. It's amazing. <laughs> I mean, this is, this is, that, that was, that was magic. Just yes, there. We, we had a, we had a Zen moment of comedy. <laughs> Oh god! Anyway, sorry. I've just, I've, speaking of which, I nearly got an erection just because of that. That's the sort of like that's how good that joke was. You're we welcome. Just, uh, <laughs> no, but the thing is now, now everyone's going to think that we've we've planned this. I haven't. I haven't. I swear to you, I have not. No, read, we're just hilarious. <laughs> I have, if, if anyone out there genuinely thinks that I or Danny want to fucking read these things twice, like, like it's like. So where were we? Oral sex proceeds and typically replaces blood. It's non-committal. Um, oh, so this one, it's, it's seen as non-committal, quick and safe. Oh, okay. <laughs> quick and safe. Quick and well, safe. It that... yeah, it depends. If you're, if you're a geezer who had Magic Johnson come in your eyes, I probably would imagine it probably <laughs> That's wasn't, not safe. It wasn't too safe. Well, I guess you can't, you can't get pregnant. Is that what they mean? 
Well, I mean, it's just, well, I don't know. I, I mean, guess that would be the safer. I would bit. consider. I would consider a man. I mean, I know as any man will tell you, just you know, ejaculation is not an exact science, and <laughs> it's, it's like cum is a bit like you know, you ever, you ever like have a grapefruit and it's impossible just to not get juice in your eye as you put the thing it's like that. That's cum. I swear it's it's, it's drawn towards your eyes. Oh you yeah. Know, and, uh, mm. <laughs> And, and I've done, and I've, the amount of times I've had, and when you're filming it for like, if you're doing something with, with someone online and you've got your camera in one hand, you have to, you then realise, right, I've got to do that thing. I can't put my hand up, <laughs> right? I've got to sit here and come all over myself. Oh right? no. <laughs> <laughs> and then, and then you've got to somehow gather, gather your dignity back up to go and back to having a normal conversation. You know? <laughs> that's, that's funny. You, I'm like, all right, well, good easy. night. <laughs> yeah. Excuse me, I need to go home and just look into the mirror and scream the word faggot at myself. Oh, right no. <laughs> um, anyway, here we are. So for some for some kids, it's a cool thing to do. Oh yeah, the kids. Kids. The kids. I see this is the second time oh. he's been talking about young people, and that's I'll tell you what, oh, I'll tell you what, man, all the kids, they're all into fellatio these days. It's oh like, yeah. All, what, have you got like, the new What kids are you Apple? talking to about fellatio yeah. and why? Have you got the have you got the new like PlayStation fellatio? <gasps> oh, it's amazing. Is that a, is that probably a simulator? Oh a god, Steam, they're going to do that one day. It's going to be a thing. Oh, it'd be great though. You know, it'd, be, it'd, be... <laughs> it'd be a mess. Do you know why? But do you it know, would sell do you know really well. The day that they can, the day they can somehow create like a, a, a virtual reality world where it's it's as close to being re, being real as possible. We're going to go on the internet, and there's going to be no shitlords, no <laughs> Paul Joseph Watson, True. no Steve. They're going to be all very busy. Just, I'm into you know, it. I like that. They're, they're just going to be over there wanking like Safari Park chips at home and uh, yeah. getting out of this. I'll just, you know, sometimes you just got to go fuck yourself. <laughs> yeah. I bet they've tried everything. They've probably tried. They've probably even tried like Nightmare on Elm Street sex. That's why oh, you sleep. No. Try, you try and sleep at the same time as a woman and get into the dream. <laughs> it doesn't work. But um, anyway, so for for the kid for the for, for the kid the kids on the streets for the kids, um, it's. It's a cool thing to do. For others, it's a low cost excitement. What do you mean low cost? Low cost. That's a weird issue. Don't you mean no cost? Surely there, mate. I mean, unless what? you mean like, unless you mean spiritually, there's a cost here. I cost don't compared to what? Yeah, and, and and low as well. I mean, like, and why low. are you paying <laughs> for fully? <laughs> Is it is it because it costs maybe, less than regular sex? Is that well? Yeah. I mean, well, I mean, maybe he's like, I don't know how I mean, the phrases maybe, work. It, it costs you. It might cost you time. You know, negotiations and yeah. stuff. It depends. I mean, social like, capital. Is a few, yeah, you know, I mean, it's low cost. It depends. He's probably got a lot of homeless people near him. They're you know they're easy. You know, they're easy. Yeah, pretty inexpensive. Easy. You can fuck a homeless woman. You know, it's all, it's easy to get her to stay the night, and you can Aww. drop her off anywhere. Poor babies. And, um, a, Anyway, so um, did it, yeah, so it, did, so it's a low cost. Thing. Raised in a culture in which speed is valued, kids, not surprisingly, seek pleasure principle through oral sex. Yes, because kid, no one's been interested in oral sex up until very recently. Kids. <laughs> like, you know, like, is he going to keep talking was, about kids? A blowjob was a once every, once in a decade occurrence, wasn't it? It was. <laughs> No one, kids. When I was younger, bl no, sex, uh, blowjobs. What's that? Oh, you know, it's, it's only the most amazing days. thing ever. They always yeah, make so up these crazy fads. They're into yeah, teenagers and sex. I mean, when's that ever? Oh, God, <laughs> no, God, it, I tell you, it's, it, it, back in my day, you just all kids needed was a jar, jam jar full of minnows and a and a, and a, and, a, and a, a stick in a stick in a wheel, and that's all you needed. And, um, I also don't like how he's he's saying kids, but also not like what ages of kids. Yeah, he's just being very he's being very R. Kelly there, where he's like, when, yeah. <laughs> when R. Kelly was asked in the interview, he's like, you know, so do you like like teenagers? And he goes, well, when you say teenagers, what are we talking about? Ugh. Wrong answer. Wrong answer, Robert. It's Try never... again. <laughs> the answer is no. <laughs> yeah. Well, it's, like the scene in, it's like the scene in Ghostbusters where they go, Ray, if someone asks you if you're a god, you say, I can't believe no one said, Robert, if he asks you if you like fucking kids, say no. Mm -hmm. Right? You might, I know you might, I know you do, but you've just been on trial for it. And yeah. you know, like, so, yeah. so say no, definitively. In fact, say you hate anyone under the age of 40. Right? You just don't like, you know, you don't People want to always, They're just telling on themselves. I just, 
It's so weird <laughs> to me. But it's, I'm like, you guys, well, you know you can lie, right? Like the thing, the thing was, the first court time he went to court and he got off, like it was, he had, I think it was, he had 27 oh. counts of child pornography on his computer. Oh, and I'm like, God. okay, look, like, okay, okay, one, some, it's possible, you know, because the, due to the vague vagaries of the definition of owning child pornography, you can even include a, a drawing in right. some definition. But he like but, made so, pornography but, with these girls. That's the, but, but that's the point. It's like you've got, there's one, there's having one bit of child pornography, maybe a photo, possibly even two, but 27. Yeah. There's a point you've there's got to notice. There's a trend notice. happening. Yeah. <laughs> Particularly when it's in the folder marked child pornography yeah. for Robert. You know? and, um, yeah. Anyway, getting back on that, where were we? Okay. Oh, in parentheses, that last it. So not surprisingly, they seek pleasure through oral sex. In parentheses, the girl by immediately pleasing the kid, the young boy by kicking back and enjoying the ride. Right, okay. Um, it's, it's, so it's now a, it's now a female paedophile. Yeah. Is what it's like. <laughs> Or a feedophile. As, um, oh, my goodness. The phrasing on this is just... Whoa. Yeah, it's... Uh, <laughs> oh, yeah, but it says girl, though. So he says, yeah. But he doesn't say... I'm like, girl, say young, not woman, I guess. He doesn't say young girl, though. I guess and, like, uh, if kids are doing stuff with each other, that's... I love the idea. The young boy... But... The young boy's kicking back and enjoying the like, yeah. just like oh, he's putting yeah. his feet up. Yeah. No, he's there going, ooh, ooh. <laughs> Try. He's there going, for God's sake, don't look up. You'll see me doing this stupid face. Oh, <laughs> like, that's why men grab the women's hair sometimes. Okay, don't you dare fucking look up. Because <laughs> they're doing this really horrible, like, a, like their bottom lip protruding out. Going, and... And they're secretly sort of mouthing, sort of like aggressive thing. Going, yeah, tell me to do the fucking hoovering next time. Yeah, fucking. Like, you know, they're getting their aggression out on that one. So, oh, my goodness. Um, an apparently facile command over the sexual landscape of one's partner is accomplished without the encumbrances of clothing, coitus, and the rest of the untidy organisation. I have no idea what he's talking about. Yeah, that sentence that is, was a little bit... I gave up half. I was reading it. I knew the words... What I was saying. Yeah, the individual words are fine, but how they Let's keep try that together. Again. An apparently fas an apparently facile command over the sexual landscape of one's partner is accomplished without the. All right, so he's saying you don't need to you don't need to like dress nice or you know um you know or basically make an effort if you're a woman. You just need to suck his dick and he's happy. Yeah. That's all you need to do. You know, you could literally go out, you could wear, you know, dress as anything, you know, just put on, you could smell. You know, <laughs> I mean, you that's smell definitely really the case for probably the dude who wrote this. <laughs> mm. <laughs> probably not all men, I'm assuming. Oh, God, he's been, he's been, he probably, if he's been with homeless women as well, you, you could like, you know, if he, uh, he's probably could, he'd smell them coming up the driveway or something. That's um, so funny. Like, ugh. The, there we are. The blow, t the blow task. He calls it the blow task. A blow task. The blow task. Because that's another How? word for job. Did he like use a thesaurus yeah. for this? No, I just think this. I mean, what is he trying to say here? <laughs> this is the. This is not the background of fucking anything so far. This is. This is what. This is what a a forty seven year old virgin mm -hmm. right would who, who who's actually who a, yeah a forty seven year old vir Catholic priest. Who's 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 a secretly a paedophile? Mm -hmm. if, if he's pretending, if he goes down the pub and he's pretending to be a guy, going, "Oh God, hey, what about those old blow tasks?" Right? <laughs> oh, just, that's what my, all the kids my, are talking about these days. These oh, blow tasks. My, I tell, I was, I was with my, uh, you know, uh, um, uh, uh, wench last night. My maid, dusky young maiden from below, um, and uh, I, and she was down there, and uh, she was, uh, she had the whole mouth, whole mouth. And it was right. It was right in there, and it was disgusting. <laughs> <laughs> but, um, oh god! I bet. I wonder if he watches James Bond. If he calls that that Chinese geezer odd task, or do I, <laughs> it says an odd job. I'm gonna start um, using synonyms for normal like phrases where they don't. Make I think. Sense. Well, well, now we've got we've got well, from the last one we got penis, you know, testicles before everything. Oh yeah, we got like life got, lessons out of that. We've we've got blow task. Blow yeah. task. Um, the, yeah. <laughs> That's like coded language, isn't it? The blow task. Is, the blow task is, in essence, the brand new joystick of teenage sexuality. This does this guy creepy. know? That, does this guy know that teenage boys, basically from the age of twelve to thirty, are in their bedrooms doing nothing? But like, you cannot get them to leave, <laughs> like, go outside. 
that's what that's why boys are that's why boys are easier to raise. There's, you know, girls you've got to be getting they, they've got lots of complicated stuff they need explaining. Boys, they just once they've figured it out, <laughs> they go up they spend every summer holiday, six weeks, just locked in their bedroom, and by the end they come out, they look like that fucking with the mosquito in Jurassic Park that's in the amber. <laughs> got to be chiseled out, you know. And also teenagers, you didn't need a blowjob when you were a teenager. You could just like I don't know, you could just be, you, you wouldn't even have to think of it. A woman could be within your, the county. <laughs> like, you wouldn't even know. You know you, like, they could be, you know. You just needed a sort of light breeze to go against your elbow, and you'd be like, oh, fuck, you know, you know, it's like, it could be anything. You know? Testosterone is a hell of a drug, dude. Mm. Oh, it is, yeah. It's, um, it's get, this is why men have just, you know, this is why men are so fucking useless. You know, it takes, it takes us ages to, you know, We've only or not if we've got to deal with our own, learn to control ours. We've got to learn to fucking plan with everybody yours. else. It's, it's it's fucking difficult. You know what I mean? It's not easy. You know? In other words, oh for fuck's sake, in other words. Who start you know, this this is the second paragraph, right? In other words. Like you've used other words. <laughs> Everything you've described you has been using weird words. words. What the hell is the blowjob? You've used words other than the ones that you fucking know. This is like reading a coded language that a kid sends in, a, in an exam. In other words, if we are to believe today's sociologists and cultural cultural mavens that oral sex has actually become normal. <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> I want to know, what men did this guy hang around with where everyone was like, oh, what happened on Tuesday, Dave? What happened to you on Tuesday? Like, oh, don't, no, don't, no, what? Hold on, did you, you got a blowjob? No, you said, fuck, he only got a blowjob. That's so weird. Why would you, you do that? Oh, God, why don't you just, oh, you fucking homo. He's so away. abnormal. I know. He's like, what the <laughs> Oral sex has become normal. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, like, normal... Meaning, like, socially acceptable or normal? Meaning, what, like, people just didn't do that before, but now we totally This guy do. probably believes all of the old myths, like, they, they, all the old sort of boy, wives' tales. Didn't you read mother... about Sodom and Gomorrah, dude? No, of course he did. I don't know that this guy's religious. <laughs> to be fair, I don't know that this guy's religious. True. Um, but, you know, I bet, the, I bet this geezer's mother slapped the stork that brought the fucking thing. Um, here we are. So it's like the cultural mavens, sociology. Oh yeah, I remember reading that sociology paper on wanking. It's okay. <laughs> when you were reading it, I was really worried that he was going to say cultural cultural Marxism. I was like, wait no, a minute, no mavens. <laughs> I like I like I like that one. I got referred to once in a in a um a bit of, in a um bit of advertising as a YouTube maven. I'm like, oh I like that. yeah, I don't know what it is. But I, I don't like know. I've, I don't know if I've heard anyone use that word before. Mm. I don't know what that but, really um, means. It sounds good though, but I'm not yeah. going to look it up in case. Is it, it like a maverick? It's, like... it's <laughs> no, I think it means I think it means just like um, I, I don't know. Like I think it means like it's not someone who's a maverick. It's someone who's like just uh, the, I, they are known for doing it, and they're quite mm. sort of like sort of I, you know. I, I think it just means I'm Brit. It probably means I'm an arsehole. <laughs> but like you know, uh, this you know, guy's something like so that. academic about his blowjays. But he, uh, oh, please, I think we the word academic there. We're really you know, I, I say, think that he had a academic, thesaurus. When he wrote this two paragraphs, I think he 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 probably thought a thesaurus was a fucking big lizard, big giant lizard or something. Um, anyway, however, <laughs> every sentence is a. But in other words, you know, to put it simply, however, by the way, however, the increased banality, the banality of the blowjob, the banality of. <laughs> In order, in, order for a man, in order for a man to ejaculate, all a woman, in order for a man not to ejaculate, a woman just has to do nothing. And like, in order, the banality of the blowjob. Banality. Who has, has any man ever used ban banal as a blowjob? Like, I feel bad for her. That's such an insult. Or for whoever's doing the, 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 what was it? Blow task? <laughs> The blow task. <laughs> tasking. She the, was the person tasking. engaging in the task. <laughs> she was the task. She's the task master, right? Or you could say headmaster, which again hey. could be the same thing. Yeah, there you headmaster. Go. Oh, oh. See, That's headmaster, a taskmaster, and there are. Hey <laughs> Sorry, just I need to. Yeah. Just, now, just get that just out. Let of it way. out, man. Just let it out. Bloody hell! I did the banality of the blowjob is <laughs> bewildering. The banality of the blow, it's the alliteration on that. I like it, I've got to admit. But the banality, I just don't, I can see him standing there in like a sort of smoking jacket 
with a looking out saying oh the banality of <laughs> like a sort of film or a film noir like a detective with like a hat like a panama hat <laughs> and he's there going the banality of the blowjob <laughs> well, i thought this was supposed to be a pro blowjob article you're making no, it sound it just, it terrible just said, it just said the background oh, the background Apparently it's the you know oh it's the background and the four play like, which would be the foreground or the back play. And, uh, <laughs> but apparently the the background of the blowjob has led us to a, a time where people have had so I just like so many blow I'm just bored just fucking bored to suck anything else like Literally, the good place. Just, yeah, just, they're just this, like yeah I'm constantly having an orgasm I'm kind of this, 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 <laughs> this reminds me this reminds me of a Doug Stanhope joke that he does about he talks about like he talks about getting bored as you get older he's like we need we need new drugs and we need new things and women you need more holes you need, you need some new holes <laughs> and he's like it's like why are you and the woman's gonna be like why are you always trying to fuck my shoulder hole because you won't let me fuck your shoulder hole well, get away <laughs> it's I taboo think you're now gay. yeah exactly um, Okay, so bewildered. When, oh, here we go. When I when I was a teen, I had some very good blows. <laughs> when I when I was a teen in the bad taste disco fangled seventies. Oh, disco, can we just say now I know about under, the author a little more. Disco fang. Nobody under he, say, he says teenager. Nobody under the age of sixties ever used the word fangled. <laughs> These That's newfangled like, blowjobs. Yeah, it's like these new. Have you heard about these newfangled blowjobs? <laughs> <laughs> They're pretty normal these days. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, I don't know. It's like back in my political correctness gone mad. You know, like, you know. This guy's just a boomer. Oh, he's not. Oh, come on, he ain't. Boomers ain't these. Boomers don't sit around. Even the even the most uptight, bitter, and sad up, you know, it, anally retentive boomer would like a blowjob once in a while. You know, that's like. Slits their problem. This guy just the had too many blowjobs. They became banal. Also, the bad taste disco fangled seventies. What was like? It's Felatio just a self own. Felatio was something you finished into. <laughs> like, what? what? Uh, finished into. into. Well, so it was. What do you think? Do you think that like, a woman sucks a man's dick? He comes and he just keeps going these days because you know, because <laughs> I want another one. Because oh, it's it'll get Dave. You'll regret it. <laughs> like, you know, oh my god! I'm telling you, it's like uh, it's like drug tolerance for drugs and all this other stuff. Oh yeah, know? he's just bored. That's the problem. You finished into this the seventies. Oh yeah, the time of <laughs> Gary. Gl Basically, that was the time when all celebrities were the people we now know are rapists and pedophiles. Ah, That's basically yeah. that. And uh, apparently this guy is, could be too, based on the... I mean, um, yeah, I wouldn't put it past him. This could have been written by Gary Glitter, for all we know. <laughs> or like, um, <laughs> um, Here we are. Rooted in the excellent American sport of baseball, the sexual metaphors of my generation put fellatio someplace after online. What? what? Hold on, is there something on the screen or is that a comma? Okay, let me start. I don't think it's the full sentence. Let's try, okay, so try it again. Okay, he's got, he's, <laughs> the... I didn't even want to read this, but we started it, and this went all right. All right. Um, <laughs> okay, rooted in the excellent American sport of baseball. Just say baseball. Right. In Pardon baseball, me, I'm brewing some coffee in the background. I, I've got, I've got, I've got, I've got a liter mason jar full of coffee here. And... It's making the rumblies. Mm. Anyway, so rooted in the excellent American sport of baseball. The sexual metaphors of my generation put some put fellatio someplace after online method off in the far off plains of the outfield. <laughs> right. I I don't play baseball, but I and I don't know. So I don't know what necessarily he's talking about. But is he saying blowjobs are in the outfield? Of I baseball? don't know. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I don't I understand the point of the sentence. It's, it's like, it's, it's, I mean, did he did he used to come that hard? That it would like you need you need a geezer with a glove. It's out of like here. <laughs> and probably also probably as soon as he came, he'd run away. He's like, oh, wait, God, wait, 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 wait. Was this is this supposed to be a reference to like first base, second base? I don't fucking know. <laughs> I'm trying to get into this. I'm trying to like. I don't know what sport. This is. He might as well be quoting a sport we've we've never played before. I don't. I don't. I don't. In the, in, when you're playing backgammon, or, <laughs> you know, 
it's, in, <laughs> it's like it's fucking stupid. Okay, so uh, let's just give up on that. So it's baseball metaphor. Baseball um, outfield uh, um, blowjobs. And a pa- okay, uh, 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 where was I? Oh, yes, um, I see. I don't even know what was. All the words are going. Uh, uh, right. So, um, in fact, avoiding all the bases and going directly to fellatio was ah. the sort of ho- was the sort of home run scheduled only for racy borderline lawbreakers who took pleasure in the host of licentious and prohibited activities that made them stars in the heavens of teens and reckless teen recklessness. Whoa. That sentence just kept going. Yeah. <laughs> I, I, that was... I Dave, I Dave growled that on one <laughs> breath. That was fucking... Um, <laughs> it's, um, I'm going to try that again. Okay, like, the beginning part, so. I was like, okay, all right, okay. So what you're saying is home run is a blowjob only if you want to get in trouble because it's like of this- sodomy laws? The thing is, this guy, this guy could be br- could be a like a brilliant bullshit artist, but he's got to just pull it back a bit. Just a bit of editing. There's just too much, you know. You want you want people to be confused enough by the end of the sentence that they think you're right, but they're not sure why. But this is he's just, pulling a Jordan Peterson on us. There, honestly, there are people. You know, this could bring on like there, there, this will give you an like, Emmy talking to this guy for too long. <laughs> so I'll try that again. Okay, okay. in in one breath. <clears throat> And uh, in fact, avoiding the bases and going directly to Fallacia was the sort of home run scheduled for only racy borderline lawbreakers who took pleasure in the host licentiousness and prohibitive activities that made them stars in the heavens of teenage recklessness. Ooh, <laughs> uh, there we go. What an unnecessarily oh. long fucking sentence. Yes, I think there's a lot. I think this guy's got a weird thing about having things very longer than they need to be. It's ah, like this compensating system. I, I don't get know. it. <laughs> that, is two, that is two paragraphs. Then there's the half a blank page. Then there's another half of the. Then the top half of the next page is blank, and the bottom half's got words in it. Right. It's almost like he's going straight to the end, like and missing the bit out in the middle. Like yeah, he's going home this, run without running. Uh, he's the go, he's at going all. the. He's going. This is the blowjob. Yeah, he's giving us all of the conclusion. It's getting really meta. Fucking, <laughs> yeah, it could be. I think it's just a fucking. I think it's just a formatting error, quite frankly. But it could, like, you, you could. Let's it's like, try no, I charitable. promise. I wrote two full pages of. Oh, oh, hold on, hold on. The start. I've just read the start of the next sentence. Oh, here so we go. Just here. <clears throat> the very first blow task I ever provided. <laughs> no fucking way. Provided. <laughs> no fucking that, way. No, no, but no. It doesn't mean it doesn't mean he gave it to someone. No, he thinks that him receiving something he's providing, is providing. Yeah. It's, yeah. That's it's so not get, sad. He's not, he's not getting a blowjob. No, she's like she's re- he's he is demanding a blowjob. She is receiving some protein. <laughs> like, this is why <laughs> exactly. It's for her. That's why um, women, <laughs> women don't want to have sex anymore. They just want to blow you. <laughs> yeah, that's why they live longer than us. Yeah. <sighs> you know, like, you get an extra three years because of all that spunk. The very first. Still spunky. I think this guy. This, this guy is proof that men still do live too long because he's got too much stuff. <laughs> he could have been. He, you could have taken a couple of decades off this fucker, and he would. You would, wouldn't have been wasted. He's the sharing very first, his so knowledge with us. Uh, but wait, yeah, but let's hear. It. Oh, because now he's going. Now he's going to get real. He's going to get down and gritty. This is a uh, the first blow task I ever provided. Parentheses, open parentheses. After methodically groping my way past all the bases, <laughs> methodically, methodically groping. This guy my is way. asexual. He's, he's a he's a, he's a sexual machine. Is what he, he is. is he, a, maybe a robot. <laughs> He's. I, I disagree. I think he's clearly the Russell Brand of his day. I mean, he's got. He's, he, he uses. He uses far too many words. He rambles on incoherently about stuff, and um, and apparently he just can't stop. You know, his dick cannot get out of a woman's mouth. So it's, just, it's always there. Yeah, I mean, thank thanks so much for him providing these women with the opportunity to do a blow <laughs> task. I think the secret is he used to. You know, those like when you get a Kentucky Fried Chicken, you get one of those those little wipes. In the packet. So you, if you go over, if you go over your your <clears throat> into one of them, it, sm- it smells like lemon. Yeah, it's quite refreshing. Yeah, it can be quite a treat for the <laughs> woman because she, she's expecting the orphan. You're like, oh, smells like you. Know, smells, like sk- 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 smells like yes. skittles. Smells like skittles. So I provide after my, after methodically passed the basis was an act of faith. 
His blowjob was an act of faith. What? You mean, it, yeah, we don't because believe it. Because you're it, on it your knees? Happen. Is this like a yeah, Madonna or, thing? Or the fact it only happened if we believe in it. <laughs> like, I think he likes happened? Madonna. I think that's his little prayer. I don't know. Um, <laughs> well, I mean, he says act of faith. I mean, it could be that it was a blowjob, but it's just not in the conventional sense. Like, He's just blowing in, on it? Yeah, he was just in a room on his own with <laughs> someone's, how can I put this, spiritually, Ooh. as in not there, yeah. Astral, but, um, astral bro- blowjobs. Yeah, yeah, well, yeah, have you ever been, you know, a bolter, boltergeist, yeah. The, um, <laughs> not, not busters. Ah, uh, <laughs> there we go. Oh, for, hold up, hold up. Oh, I'm wait, wait, wait. There we are. All right, sorry, I, I have to keep opening the browser again. Right, so we are. Um, okay. For it. Right, okay, so it was an act of faith. After lastly figuring out how to manually handle, hold on. What? After lastly figuring out how to hand, how to manually handle my boyfriend's unusual. Vi- this is a woman. What? I just this, is this a just wo- blew my mind. This can't be a gay person. This is not a gay. I've never met a gay like this in my life. <laughs> this has got to. This is a woman thinking. Well, I will tell you what. I, I, I know. I'm that's a, that's 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 me and you pulling some fucking heteronormative bullshit. Yeah, right. There. That's that. That was us there. Oh, dear I. That was. If nothing, and you know what? Bigot. For that alone, for that alone, you and I, I think we've learned a lesson here, and yeah. this is the only one we're going to learn because this... I don't see either. <laughs> <laughs> the only thing I we've can't... learned from this is yeah. the friends. I can't see. Anyway. I can't. I can't see you getting into bed with Jake at some point and going right. Here we go. Wait, what did he say? <laughs> what manually groping. <laughs> <laughs> the... Also, what are the, what are the bases on him? I, I like the a bases good were on a woman. <laughs> I thought the bases were on a mat were on a woman. Yeah. Isn't that what the bases were? <sighs> Maybe he's playing a different sport. Maybe this is cricket and it's a test match and it's just up and down. They were, I'm still like, confused as to why she's like opened it all up with teenagers. <laughs> I'm confused as to why she thought anyone would care about <laughs> this. And then she put she's put it on the internet. But you know anyway, what I'll do? So- I'll write about blow test. Yeah, she, I mean, she not only did she think this, she thought, yeah, this is good. Other people, people need to hear this. Other people must know this, right? But hey, what we, we're getting something out of it. So <laughs> anyway, so what is it here? So uh, my boyfriend's vestigial organ. Oh, God. And, uh, and now, now she's done this again. She's put a hyphen and it's a long sentence with another hyphen and then it finishes. So this is going to be another. Here we go. <clears throat> no, it's okay. After lastly figuring out how to manually handle my boyfriend's unusual vestigial organ, how to display, control, and manage his distended, tumescent pink love shaft. What I now, fuck is I, going I, on? This is degenerate. <laughs> this is escalating quickly, isn't it? Are we reading I'm, like a romance novel all of a sudden? Have you ever I have never heard another man's dick described by a woman and in the in the sentence she's used vestigial, distended, and tumescent. Well everything <laughs> about this is making me not want penises anywhere near me. Like this is grossing me out. <laughs> oh, yeah, I mind I mind as peptic, phrasmotic, even compunctious to cause you such pericombobulations. <laughs> I now had the difficult job task, I think you'll find there, <laughs> I, now the, I now had the difficult uh, task of having to find out how to handle it orally. Okay, it's not, uh, I'm sorry, have, do, have you, when you were a kid, did you play that thing where you had the different shaped bricks in the, and the different shaped holes? Right, it's that. <laughs> right? It's the triangle, the triangle brick goes in the triangle hole, the fucking round bit. It's that easy. That's all you've got to do. Just try really hard not to hurt them with your teeth and you know, go ahead. What are you trying? I mean, oh God, I've never met anyone this clueless. In- <laughs> I've never met anyone this invested and yet clueless at the same time. <sighs> it's like, and anyway, so how to handle it orally? Well, you don't handle it. There's no orally. hands in your that- mouth. I hope. Exactly. No. Got to no. handle it with your mouth hands. But okay, and now she's musing, right? Because she's got mm. to figure out what to do. So now she puts lick. Draw, <laughs> use your hand, use your hands. If it, if just the how-to books that exist today existed at this time, darling, we found loads of them. What? This entire podcast is based on <laughs> <laughs> They're not all very good, but they exist. No, no, but they, but, but even they at their dumbest, I mean, they were, they, they were, 
nutters, but even at their dumbest, they knew what the basics were. Right? They understood. <laughs> they under they understood that oral means mouth. And <laughs> penis goes. What are you going to do? Play it like a fucking harmonica going. <laughs> <laughs> or just like a fucking record or like a penny whistle or something like <laughs> what do i do with this thing or maybe maybe she get or, or literally like the rusty trombone which is where you you know where you you lick a man's arsehole and then jerk him off round the back and you go <laughs> like you play it <laughs> the sound I, I think did it for me that was good that was to good. be honest if this if to be honest this per if this person's got found blows jobs banal i think you know for, uh, the rusty trombone or the dirty... This is turning into that 40-year-old virgin. <laughs> it's, it's not about the pussy juice cocktails and the shit-stained balls. And the, I love the part where he's that. trying to describe tits and he said they were like sandbags or something. <laughs> If you've seen that's this, that's who it, wrote this. That's that's if you see it is, it is, it's 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 it's, it's it, but it's someone worse than that. it's someone who's not even got that level of like you know self aware because this this guy thinks he knows like Andy wouldn't have done that, he was in under pressure. But it's like, but that scene with the Indian guy, it's like if there's an extended version, and you know, they just went on sexdictionary.com. And he's going the Cincinnati, the, the, the hot car, the Mexican chili dog, the Cincinnati bow tie, the alligator fuckhouse. I feel like we could just add two words together and well, well, no, any actually, two words the thing is, might be a worst one. I looked all of them up. They are real. But yeah. the worst one, the worst one he does is the Cincinnati bow tie. And bow that tie. is Cincinnati bow tie is when the the uh, the, uh, the the man uh, has uh, now this can be done get, this can be two men or a man and a woman but uh, one of the men uh, puts his erect penis in the throat hole of their tr of their of their partner who's got a trachotomy from oh no and when and you fuck them in the throat hole and it causes like the and as it straight out it looks like a bow tie oh no and I love the fact that someone has got that level of innocence that they can look at that. They can look at the fucked throat hole of their partner and go, "Oh, you got so you got a little bow tie." Oh, look how cute that is! <laughs> made, made of, uh, a little bow tie made of blood and cum. Oh, See, isn't that wonderful? I was here thinking he was just like gonna like shit on her neck or something. No, there is the other one is the um is the is one called the Alaska Pipeline, which is where you 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 do a shit, you freeze it, oh, then yeah. you put the then you put it in the condom. That used to be called space docking. Yeah, when I remember. I've heard of but that one, unfortunately. <laughs> space space docking is where you do a shit in a woman's pussy. Which, to be oh, fair, no. that is that is a level of She's skill gonna and accuracy. She's going to die. <laughs> then there's of That's course murder. shitting. Then there is of course doing a shit in the fucked throat hole of the. Of the oh of the no. Whilst an alligator, t the alligator fuckhouse is just uh, one one woman and at least two men fucking in a swamp. See, that was <laughs> easy. Um, <laughs> anyway. I just, oh god, I'm just thinking of leeches now. I mean, ugh. here we go. Okay, so put both hands into. No, oh, so uh, apparently, okay. Um, She's did, still trying to figure out what to do if, with a penis. If just the how-to books that exist today existed at existed at the time. Okay, so now what she's doing is she is actually. She, it looks like she's actually creating a fake sort of like oh this would be um th this is this is what she imagines would be written mm -hmm. in the uh, how to into the like, boomer in, into Karen's guide to, to blow jobs. Blow tests. <laughs> yes, um, giving a blow job when you're in your seventies. Um, <laughs> new, 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 the new fan. Step one: blow Take job. out your teeth. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Okay, so this is it. Put both hands into the L position around the base of the shaft. L position. Set. Yeah, both hands as well. I like, mean, who's she doing? Who like is this geezer? Pointer and thumb <laughs> making an L. Yeah, but well, yeah, <laughs> with a shape of an L <laughs> on my penis. <laughs> that is exactly perfect. But also, but also, both hands. Who is this fucker? She's with. Why is he doing? Why is he with her? If he's got, if he needs a dick that needs both hands, <laughs> and he should be, in a, he should be in a different line of work. I imagine here, <laughs> unless, of course, this is not a Maybe man. She's we don't got know it's a man. Hands. So she could do. She could have withered little hands, <laughs> like, you know, like <laughs> she's, little she's, tiny she's, Trump hands. She's got like you know, there, no. There was a guy in this country called Jeremy. He was a TV presenter. Uh, he was, he's dead now, but he's called Jeremy Beadle, mm. and uh, he he had he famously had a very had a very small. Tight, like tiny childlike withered hand huh. and it, it spawned the joke like jeremy beadle has just got one a of his hands 
Yeah, just one of his hands. Oh, gotcha. And the, the, jo- the, the joke was, Jeremy Beadle has a very small penis, but on the other hand... <laughs> and that was... <laughs> That's and, a good um, one. Yeah, so she puts both of her se- sex tips for straight women from a gay man. Sex tips? Oh, no, this is a man! Oh, this okay. is a gay man! See, I this couldn't figure gay... out what was happening this whole time. This is like a... I feel like I'm in an in a escape room. Like, I'm fucking... I don't know. Th- we've had two twists in this. This is like M. Night Sh- <laughs> There's only this one. This is like an M. Night Shalaman bullshit. <clears throat> yeah. We're, we're on paragraph four. What a ride. Right? And this this is this is like all over the... I can't fucking keep up, this, up with this. Oh, everyone... Oh, so it's a new one every week. It's going to be something new, new now. I think, I think to be fair to us, I think this fucking idiot could have actually made this a little bit clearer at the start. I mean, it like, would have been uh, nice a, for us to be introduced to the author in the first it could have been, it could have been hello. the end of the... It could, they could have said, hello, I'm Steve. I'm okay. <laughs> anyway, um, huh. welcome to... My, my name is Dave. I am Dirty Old Queer. And mm. welcome to... Right, so oh. see, even even Ruben's story about coming out is not as fucking confusing as this. It's fucking, and it's a bit more believable. Um, and then it's but then he puts another quote again. Lick the entire, uh, lick the entire. Uh, oh, hold on, lick the entire idea, and after that, use your tongue to lick up and down. What's the, hold on, the idea. entire idea? So it's a, con- it's, a it's a conceptual penis. <laughs> <laughs> It's a, it's a, it's a, it's a philosophical penis. But it's in your it's mouth. A, it, it literally is a fallacy. Ah, a I fallacy. like that. <laughs> it's a fallacy. Yeah, but lick the i, lick the entire i. I'm sure that's a mistake. It can't. Yeah. Unless we're gonna find, we're gonna find out they're a fucking like Vietnamese gay man, and this has been translated into fucking Ooh, English on Google. There we go. The plot. Yeah, begins. from. <laughs> he's probably from. He's probably from Laos or something. Anyway, so up and so. And covering covering your teeth with your lips. You now you don't need to cover your teeth with your lips. Just keep them back. Just just, just, just know where they are at all times. Just know that the sh- the, the feeling of having razor sharp ivory grinding up and down your dick. Or di- You've got exposed of- bones in your mouth because you're kind yeah. of not exactly. You've effectively got loads of tiny little knives. <laughs> Knives and crushing devices attached to your jaw. Oh, so, and so now this... I'm starting to understand why he was talking about the baseball thing, right? Because home what, run, because... if you're a gay man, is not the same thing as if you have a vagina. Yes, but you know, a woman I don't think a gay a man. man. I don't think a gay man would have used. And again, he used it. He didn't say baseball. He said the American sport known as a baseball. <laughs> like he said it like a guy who never watched baseball in his fucking life. <laughs> Like, you know, he's, he's never, like, he probably says, like, oh, have you seen, he probably, like, describes basketball as, like, oh, it's that wonderful sort of uh, urbanised giant um, giant netball they play. It's wonderful. It's, um, <laughs> I was watching, last night I was watching the, uh, the, the I, was watching, I was watching the sporting event and uh, it was wonderful. Oh, the, the, the Packers of Green Bay <laughs> took on the. <laughs> took on the New York Giants and the man won by kicking a ball of pigskin into a big H. It was <laughs> exhilarating stuff. Anyway, cover, covering your teeth and lips and keeping your mouth taut. No, don't keep it taut. No. Keep your mouth taut. So you're like going, so you don't like going, uh, <laughs> See, now I wish we were recording video. We'll have to do it next time because the face I'm it's... making right now. Yeah, yeah. So, 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 so. <laughs> It's like I don't want to sound cruel, but you know when someone's been like a bu- in, burned and their lips ain't there anymore, and they got like, oh. also. Can I just say why uh, the last person who should be this confused about wh- how a blowjob would work is someone who's got a penis, <laughs> right? It's like a, a, you know if you've got a cock, you the you know knowing is half the battle, as GI Joe taught us. And this, just try some stuff yeah. out. Just ask yourself, what would you? Think you know what would what, what would a gay do? At least what you ask yourself. So anyway, so where where are we? Talking. Continue down the shot. Yeah, blah blah blah. And on it go. And on and on it would go. It consists of suggestions on curiosities like dick whipping, hummers, and tinglers. Oh boy. Plus, hold on, dick whipping. <laughs> like like, like a mushroom stamp. Again, how big is this fucking thing? Like Indiana Jones, like, whoosh, whoosh, like he's lassoing. got a pool noodle. 
Yeah, if he tries to run away, he just lassoes the fucker down. <laughs> That wasn't the Loch Ness monster. Steve just had his dick out and he was smashing it into the fucking floor. <laughs> when your dick's so big, it becomes a cryptid. Yes. <laughs> it ends up on fucking Russia Today or some fucking. <laughs> it, it, it only ever gets caught on very fuzzy film. Yeah, it ends up in a Captain Disillusion film or oh. video or something. Um, okay, so a dick whipping hummers will hummer is a blowjob and uh-huh. tingler. Never, never heard of a tingler. It's a tingler. But, a cheese and onion flavored Union Jack tickler, right? Okay. Plus suggestions on how to breathe. Okay, you don't need <laughs> right. If that's if that's something you're struggling with, I would get that down first oh. before I start dick. I would go right. Dick sucking. How to breathe? I think this how to breathe the first. Yeah. Try to breathe like... when the when it's not lodged in your throat. Also, it's not a case of how to breathe. It's like you can take it out at any moment. <laughs> it's not going to get stuck in there, is it? You know, well, this geezer's might. I mean, it might go all the way down. I mean, I don't. I, it's like one of those worms in fucking like in, in tremors. You know. Um, like, <laughs> pro tip: breathe. <laughs> yeah, pro tip. Pro tip. If you've got, if you've got, if also, you know if, how. Unless, yeah, if you're a mouth breather, you're gonna have to learn to breathe through your nose. Right? It's gonna have to happen. I know you've avoided your whole life breathing through your nose because you thought, why fucking risk it, right? But now you, now you're gonna have to. If you've got a cold, don't fucking. Don't, you know, just don't bother, right? But um, anyway, so um, and because you're not going to have a sexually transmitted disease, let's face it. So a cold is the best you can get. Um, you'd be lucky if you catch flu off a bird with this one. Um, uh, it consider uh, uh, men. Uh, it says how to breathe. Parentheses. Men might fear the spacious tunnel that causes the primordial soup of the womb. However, females run the risk of death by gagging. What? No, no, they don't. Right? There's like. <laughs> Dude, this this person doesn't understand blowjobs. <laughs> is, is he is he suggesting that men uh, can somehow breathe through the penis if it's but stuck in there? Can't. Yes. Is he going to put some because weed on his anus and like, wear like a bomb tube? Or... <laughs> they run the risk of death by gagging. Excuse me, mate. I I think I think you'll find that my my mouth. If you stuck a giant cocker down my throat, I would suffer the same problem. This is not. <laughs> Right, there, this is. Can, can men have anything? Right? Can we not? We're not even. Even when it comes to being murdered by some insane homosexual with a dick that's asphyxiating us, like even then we can't get any fucking. You know, we get treated differently. We get, it gets assumed that's so that we know. Sexist of him. Don't you know? Ever, don't you know? Everyone can't breathe when they're. And there's only ever one. There's only, and also the reason that women never die from gagging is because if that was the case, guess what? They she'd bite his dick off. That would be. <laughs> Yeah. Yeah, or the he only... would go to jail. Like <laughs> that too, but probably after the game. Probably she done. just like you know <clears throat> breathe. <clears throat> and and he can't exactly say he can't exactly say I you know I I, I never did it, officer, because she's still literally there. Cause yeah, she's the, she's died and it's contracted and he's stuck there now. Oh like, no, believe, it it wasn't me. This isn't what it looks like. <laughs> you know. <laughs> It would be the OJ thing going, nope, so it wasn't me. Sorry. <laughs> um, but, but <laughs> hold on, but, um, yeah, so we've got death by gay barber. Okay, so this is, hold on, are we, this is the last paragraph. We're on the last page. Clearly, even the most strenuous bout of coitus, coitus. He, he, I hate coitus. that word. It just, do you, do you reckon, I've always wondered, like, <laughs> I've, whenever I, I always wondered, like, because we've got like porn films now, we've got stupid titles. It's like you know, it's like insane granny orgy fifteen or something like that. And it's always these. It's I wonder, was that like the first porno? Was it called Coitus Two? <laughs> and then <laughs> consensual sex in a bed with a between heterosexual married couples, <laughs> briefly. And um, <laughs> the, uh, now that's what the, I call porno. The physical, the mar- the act of marital, uh, the act of marital sex purely for the benefit of pro- procreation <laughs> and no enjo- and no enjoyment whatsoever. Um, One camera full- angle. <laughs> yeah, man, man in man in full picture, man wearing basically a full business suit, tweed. The woman, the woman's there with a fucking. He's got to get a settling torch to get her knickers off before because there's about seven hundred. Fucking layers down there. One position, um, one camera angle. Well, it's not even a position, really. It's just sort of like you know, it's like it, it, it's go near it. Basically, what happens is the woman, the, the woman sits, the man sits down on a, on a on a chair, 
and he sits there until the, the, the seat of the chair has gone warm and then the wife sits down on it briefly and gets up and that's it. Then the baby is, <laughs> then she's pregnant and mm-hmm. that's how, that's how that works. So let's get through this, right? Here we go. Okay, clearly right. the most, stre- clearly the most, clearly even the most strenuous bout of, bout of coitus, like it's a disease. <laughs> I've come Pales down and- with a terrible bout oh, of I've coitus. Got, I've got another, oh, I've got bout, I tell you, man, there's fucking coitus is going round. <laughs> right? uh, there is some coitus. We're, we're going to get out. They're going to put us in lockdown again if this coitus don't fucking calm down. You know? I got to get the vaccine <laughs> so I don't catch coitus. Yeah, well, yeah, I would say I would say so. And that, and to be fair, this probably came from China as well, that, mm. uh, like, like most sex toys do. Anyway, so the most strenuous bout of coitus pales in contrast with the intimacy of fellatio. Um, yes, because there's nothing intimate about sticking your penis in another, the other end of the per- of a human being. Yeah, um, I feel like they're all intimate. <laughs> I think this guy. I don't think that that I don't think that a human's ho- a human being's holes that a penis can go in should have a tear system. True. Right? You know, I think because personally, I would consider it more intimate if I had a dick up my ass because I don't want one <laughs> in, True. in there. Like. You know, or you know, if you've ever seen cock fingering or the internet Ooh. or something like, which which is a thing, or What's like that a like little vi- No, it's like no, it's literally is fingering the dick hole or a okay. little vibrator, you know, down yeah. the, uh, the. It looks awful. I don't know what I mean. I don't know what that geezer did to fucking. Yeah, it doesn't seem like, like it would uh, expand much. <laughs> yeah, but I don't think that's the. Uh, that's probably why it's not much call cool for it these mm. days. Um, <laughs> like it's not much saying long. that. Uh, let's let this guy deal with this before he gets round to the complexities of cock fingering. Mm, anyway, yeah. um, fellatio. At least, uh, at least for the one giving it. Okay, this is contra for the one giving it. Yeah, but you don't get to come. You just, you just, you end up effectively with twice as much cum. You know, like you've got yours. I wish I could still. just rewrite this for this guy because it would just be like five pair, like five sentences. It'd be like. <laughs> I like to give men blowjobs. And here's <laughs> why. <laughs> Make sure you don't suffocate to death. Just, and this it's is normal now. This this is basically this is if if Prince had been an asexual and he <laughs> wrote alf if he'd written Alphabet Street, this is what it would have sounded like. <laughs> After a, <laughs> ever a terrible bout of coitus. This this is like this is like the forty year old version's version of WAP. You know, this, is like, this is this is what it is. It's I don't know what dumb, but dumb. It would be something else. It would be like vestigial fucking distended tumescent penis. You know, whatever the fucking hell. Sometimes it is. when uh, you use extra words, it makes things grosser. Mm, yeah, it would be du- it would be W A C P X Y T. It'll be going for fucking ever. I'm talking blah, blah, blah. Blah, blah. I'm, t- yeah, I'm talking, I'm <laughs> talking supercalifragilisticexpialidocious. Um, <laughs> yeah, this is, this, this article has made fellatio e, like, even less. Abra, abra, cadabra. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. Now I I'm love just, that uh, song. Now I'm just trying to think of fucking nonsensical fucking su 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 you, you listened to Genesis earlier. Mm-hmm. You ever heard of <laughs> Huey Lewis in the news? This is what I think. It actually, it'd be more appropriate for, for this guy. It would be a mumble rap song. True. Mouth would be like, yeah. or some of the, yeah. some of that horror. Yeah. Some, <laughs> Some of that grindcore sort of oh um, boy. music. You know that one where it's like it's real guttural one. shit. Yeah, maybe that's what they do. Maybe that should be the new thing. You could be like a, in a band. It's called you know it's called blowjob core <laughs> or they're, they're a band called Task. And uh, the, 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 uh, the singer just like puts the mic in his mouth the whole show. I think if you get a little a little mic, ta- tape it to the end of a dick, and <laughs> then shove it in his gut. There we go. Know? I'm just, I'm an ideas man. These people can figure it out. But I'm I it out there. am willing to believe that exists already. <laughs> <laughs> Blow to and funnily, band. And funnily enough, it was a hard sell. Wasn't it? <laughs> like, you know, like, anyway. There's a man who plays glass with his mouth. I, I, that's oh, the broken I'm glass. Clock. Oh right, I see. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Well, anything that makes anything that makes a sound. Isn't it? <laughs> um. Anyways, let's finish this up. So, at least one give it. Nesting one's face in the mouldy, mouldy. What? 
Sorry, he's a gay necrophile. That was yeah. the fucking final twist. Why are you making Mold- it so unappealing? Moldy? No! <laughs> what is it? It's like, it's like, oh, it's penicillin. No, it's not like, it's really moldy. It's not guy's like, like I like blue cheese. Uh... Yes, it's still, it's Stilton. <laughs> and it's, but it's veiny Stilton. That's got veins in it, isn't it? It's not pasteurized oh, either. It hasn't got to be pasteurized like the fucking, <laughs> but he does have I to. I only like also, my have to... homogenized. Also, you have to leave it out of the fridge two hours on a chopping board for it. Fucking, you, you can use it. <laughs> and um, he, he probably puts crackers up with it as well. Um, anyway. Whore's divorce. Yeah, whores duvets, yeah. <laughs> the, um, here we go, so, uh, m- moldy, doughy, pelt. What? <laughs> pelt! Like what? it's a fucking mink! Like it's a mink! Look at that pelt! Is it- is his dick furry? <clears throat> but it's- it's- it, I'm, I'm doughy! What do you mean doughy? Doughy? It's- it's not meant to be doughy! Is it flaccid? <laughs> Okay, uh, maybe that's the clean. We've got to work out what the f- the question is. What the fuck is this guy sucking off? What, what is who? Because because I don't believe it. You know, all the clues are here. Post in the comments if you know. Can you work out what the f- who is this guy sucking off? If it's a who, anyway. Oh god. Mol- okay, pale. So so we got resting, nesting one's face in the mouldy, spelt without a U, doughy. <laughs> Pelt of your partner's loins. <laughs> Bring it. Wait, 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 wait. Bringing the full force of your tongue, lips, teeth. No. What? no. The full force of your teeth? Full. <laughs> the full force. <laughs> Grind it down. This person <laughs> is a menace. What? <laughs> <clears throat> What? I think I think it, I think that kind of blowjob that cries the full force of the teeth certainly would pale in comparison yeah. to any. Uh, there is nothing more intimate than you biting my dick off and it being in your mouth after you've done. I like, mean, if it's moldy and doughy, I guess you're not mm. missing much. Cer- <laughs> it's like, the full force of your tongue, lips, teeth, certainly your entire face. Yes, your the whole face. face. <laughs> the face. That's what you. The face isn't a part of your body. It's just a name for the collection. This person oh is just God. mashing their face into it's a like, dick. It's like, isn't it great when your hairline is going in your skull? It's mm. going back and forth. They are. Oh, I love it. It's amazing. This guy's a. Fucking it's like that nuts. girl that. Have you seen that girl that smushes bread with her face? It's like a fetish thing. She makes tons of money. Uh, no, I, I believe anything that is a fetish. She, like, she like, gets, a... like, a loaf of bread and she just <laughs> smushes it. Yeah. Good for her. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh. We t- see, that's, a, that's the sort of thing that I would have thought of uh, uh, two in a morgue. What if I just, <laughs> like, sat out? What if I just stood in Blamange, right? In a, like, <laughs> what if I just got a, I got a big, like, a load of Angel Delight or Blamange? And just stood on it like people will wank to that, and I'll be a fucking billionaire. But like, no, I, and then I think to myself, no, that's stupid. And then some cunt does it, and before you know it, there's a site, there's a site called Blamange Stompers, <laughs> and it's and it's worth a fucking billion dollars. Anyway, to bear so your entire face to bear on the to, to bear your entire face your face to bear on the swollen supplicant supplicant shaft coax coaxing. The salty swell of seed-bearing spermatozoa. <laughs> wait, wait, it blossoming, was. blossoming from deep within the vulnerable fuzz-laced scrotum, and finally, finally, partaking in the supreme exchange of bodily fluids. <laughs> I'll give this guy credit. He knows how to fucking like get a monologue going. I just, it's a, oh. I just wish he had something. I wish he had something interesting to talk about. I mean, it feels like a copy pasta. It's, no, but that, that, no, because that's written in a way that you can, I can, you can tell this is like not com- comedy, is right? It? No, this no, is, like they meant this is a this. guy. They were in. They... This is. <laughs> This is the Fifty Shades. This is Fifty Shades of Gay. This oh, is, God. Like, this is... yeah. Let's do, yeah. I, I, I just the, don't I understand. Do it's like he's described multiple penises within the same experience. <laughs> I think. Hold on. Um, okay, so I'm going to try try that whole last one again. Yeah. This is the big crescendo. So, okay. um, <clears throat> clearly, even the most strenuous bout of coitus <laughs> pales. Hold on, wait. Hold on. We need. We, 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 hold on. <laughs> Oh wait, wait, wait! I need to. Uh, I need to get some music. Oh boy! Okay, um, are you setting the mood? Wait, uh, yeah, I need something like uh, what was it? Uh, uh, um, oh, what's a good? 
piece of um uh, 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 orchestra. Yeah, mm-hmm. here we go. Um, and dilly dilly do. Uh, what's the? Mm-hmm. Oh, oh well, I oh no, I know which one to have the uh, battle. Here we go. Um, um, instrumental, obviously. Don't want to get sued by the Confederates. <laughs> <laughs> um, I, I, I imagine. So, so here we go. Um, is that? Is it? Only, oh, it doesn't have any lyrics. Okay, really? fine. I sp- did did it have lyrics? Er- right. Um, oh, there's a karaoke version. How so? Who would do this at karaoke? Right. So, <laughs> come on, get to the point, mate. Oh, for God's sake! Okay, that's too jolly. That, yeah. can't have that. That's like that, silly. That, they wouldn't have. This played. is Can like a clown the, blow job. No, no wonder the Confederates lost playing that <laughs> fucking. <laughs> coming out of that with their little fucking kazoo going. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. This is <laughs> fucking. Right, let's try. Let's try this again. Oh, fucking Candy Crush! Right. <laughs> okay, that's a that's a move. This this this. this uh, Oh. Okay. Okay. All right. Getting in the groove. Clearly, even the most strenuous bout of coitus pales in contrast with the intimacy of fellatio, at least for the one who's giving it, <laughs> nesting one's face in the mouldy, doughy pelt of your partner's loins, bringing the full force of your tongue, lips, teeth, and indeed your entire face to bear on the swollen supplicant shaft, coaxing the salty swell of seed-bearing spermatozoa, blossoming from deep within the vulnerable fuzz-laced scrotum, and finally partaking in the supreme exchange of bodily fluids. All this is much more complex than the simple act of coitus, where the essential fits in the ignition and things basically simply take place fellatio (laughs) is tough labor in every sense of the word (laughs) the white man (laughs) and and there we and i can't believe we ended up that was perfect that That was amazing that that, that song goes with it that was it i that was the so that was ladies and gentlemen that was um what a climax I don't even know what that was, but the background of fellatio and foreplay by some cunt, right? It's like all I can, 